1979, I was living in New York City, and I remember reading an article in the New York Times saying that if we continue burning fossil fuels, that the resulting greenhouse warming could, would melt part of Antarctica. And I wondered whether, you know, what would happen if we burned all of the fossil fuels? What would happen to the rest of Antarctica? And uh, this is really the question that got me into climate science. And I never had the tools to address this question until I teamed up with Ricardo Winkelmann and Anders Laverman of PIC and also Andy Ridgewell of UC Riverside. And we ran a collection of climate carbon and ice sheet models to see what would happen if we burnt all the CO2, all the fossil fuel resources that's in the ground and put the resulting CO2 in the atmosphere. And our study concludes that there's sufficient fossil fuel resource to melt all of Antarctica, ultimately leading to something like 200 feet or 60 meters of sea level rise. And the rate of sea level rise is quite fast, so about 100 feet or 30 meters of that sea level, sea level rise could happen o over the next thousand years, which would be a rate of sea level rise exceeding an inch or a few centimeters each year. The, it takes a while for Antarctica to really start get, getting going, though, and so there's not much melting beyond what's already been projected for this century, and so the IPCC numbers for sea level rise this century are largely unaffected by our study, but the outlook for future centuries, if we don't curtail our greenhouse gas emissions, is for quite rapid sea level rise persisting for many, many centuries.